now I want to do is I'm going to create another functions file and this one's going to hold what I'll call template items. Let's go over here to functions folder, right click, new, and file, and we'll call this template.php. And let's give ourselves some PHP tags. And we're going to create a function to run that navigation query we just set up. So we need to tell it it's going to be a function. And we'll call this nav underscore main. Just in case we have other navigations we want to create. We need our set of parentheses and our curly brackets. So we need to run over here to our navigation.php. Let's copy this. Let's go ahead and first copy. Let's go ahead and first cut out this query, the uh, Q and the R variable, line eight and nine. Cut that out. Come over to template. Paste that in here. Go ahead and tab it back a little bit. Then we need our while loop. And now back over to navigation. Let's go ahead and get that that while. And uh, make sure you grab that closing PHP tag as well. So cut that out. Go over to template.php. Paste that and we'll tab it out here. So we're getting some errors here, but we'll we'll fix that in a second. So back to navigation and let's grab our list here. Cut that out. Paste that on line 10. And tab that. And then back to navigation. And just grab the closing uh, curly bracket here along with the opening PHP. Leave that closing tag there. Come back to template. before this second curly bracket because that's the end of the function we need to close this while loop so paste that and there you go so like that other function though now we have some parameters that need to be coming through here and uh, we're almost always going to need that DBC unless we're not running any type of query or connecting to the database we're going to need that DBC variable so we'll put that in first in the uh, first slot here um, and then we look down here and everything else is defined except page ID and when I say defined this has to do with what's called scope and within a function the only things that are available uh, as far as say variables are concerned are the variables that were created inside the function. That is with the exception of anything that is passed through these parentheses here. So when I say something is out of scope, that means it was created or defined outside of this function. So again, in that case, it's the DBC and this page ID. So let's come up here to our parentheses here and do comma and then page ID. So then when we run this function, we're going to need to make sure we send these two parameters. So save this. And now again, before we can run this function, we need to make sure that we have access to this function. So come back over to setup.php. And here in our functions area, go ahead and copy line 11 and paste it below. And just change this data to template. So now we have access to it. Go ahead and save that. So these functions are loaded. And we need to run it. So come back to navigation PHP. And let's just take these PHP tags we already have. And inside them, we'll do nav underscore main. And a set of parentheses. And we need to send it the database connection and page ID. And in this case, it's going to match up. It's the same variable name. Um, so then we just need to close that, the semicolon, and 
and now we're good to go. So we cleaned up our code a little more. Save that and then hop over to our browser, refresh, everything's still good. 